In the United States, there are several states that have struggled with poverty for years. The poverty rate here is similar to that of African countries. In this video, we will be highlighting the 10 poorest states in the US in 2023 based on statistical data and analysis. 1. Mississippi. We're in Mississippi, the nation's first poorest state. In Mississippi, 19.4% of people live in poverty, meaning nearly one in four families earns less than about $25,000 annually. That's the same poverty rate as the African nation of Namibia. That's poor. Factors that contribute to the very poor atmosphere here are a 6.85% unemployment rate, and up until a couple years ago, one in four Mississippians wasn't finishing high school. Hard to get ahead when you don't study. When you Google Mississippi, the first auto suggest is why is Mississippi so poor? So why is Mississippi so poor? For many of the reasons we've already talked about before. It's just worse here than anywhere else. Poor education and limited job opportunities are a big factor. 2. Louisiana. We're heading back to the south where we will remain for most of the rest of our unwealthy excursion. The next stop takes us to Louisiana. Too bad we don't have enough money to buy booze, they look like they're having so much fun. Here, more than 19% of residents live in poverty, and families command a yearly paycheck of around $46,000. That's not enough for many people here to climb the success ladder. Other statistics that are eye-opening. Louisiana is last in the nation for income gap by gender. Louisianans are third worst for food insecurity and third worst for education scores. The last statistic makes it tough to entice job growth, since the state doesn't have the educated population to support it. There's a sense of fatalism in Louisiana, too. Poor people just remain, poor here. It is what it is they say. All we can do is pray they say. There's little urgency here to seek change. 3. West Virginia. The poverty rate is 18% in West Virginia, and families bring in about $44,000 a year, both very low numbers. However, a couple bright spots keep West Virginians from ranking as even poorer. The unemployment rate isn't so bad here, so that's good, and the cost of living is so low here that low salaries mean more families can get by and remain out of poverty. Migration studies have shown that 60% more people moved out of West Virginia than moved in. And, West Virginia is the only state where death rates exceed birth rates. 4. New Mexico. In New Mexico, 20% of residents live in poverty, and families bring in about $46,000 a year. That's about $10,000 less than the national average. One in three kids lives in poverty here, which is one big reason New Mexico ranked last in the nation for places to raise a family. When you look at the nation's most federally dependent states, New Mexico is at the top. That means New Mexico can't collect enough from income taxes, and must rely on federal subsidies to help pay for schools, roads, health care and welfare programs. And we just talked about Louisiana, they receive the most assistance from the U.S. government to make up their state budget. 5. Alabama. Lots of people in Alabama are bro to the OK. Families here bring in about $46,000 as a household annually, earning about $1,000 less than the average household each month, and about one in five residents lives in poverty here. Why is Alabama so poor? Like other states we've talked about so far, one side will say unregulated capitalism has created severe poverty here. Other sides will say Alabamans aren't working hard enough, and can control their own financial fate. We're not going to take sides on this, but the poverty is alarming nonetheless. In many Alabama counties, it looks third world, where poverty rates reach 40%. The United Nations usually does research on poverty across the world, but recently, visited parts of America to see how bad poverty is here their first stop. Alabama. Their report was quite compelling, and discussed conditions similar to what we see abroad. 6. Arkansas. Next on our list of poorest states in America is six ranked Arkansas. Here in Arkansas, a lot of bank accounts are empty. The natural state has an 16.0% poverty rate, and families bring in about $52,123 a year. We should note, here in Arkansas, Smaller paychecks can be stretched much further than in other states, but it's still tough times here. Arkansas used to be pretty much the poorest place in the country, but they're not as poor as before. 
Back in the 1940s, nearly half of all Arkies lived in poverty. So that's good, economically, slowly, things are improving here. 7. Kentucky. Kentucky residents earn the fifth lowest salaries in the nation, at $46,000 a year. And one in five Kentucky peeps lives in poverty. If there is a bright side here, at least the unemployment rate is about average. So there are opportunities here to get ahead here. There's ways you can get out of the poorhouse, Kentucky guy. People make like $50 a week giving blood, but you have to donate good blood. I don't know if there's more meth or Mountain Dew running through a Kentucky man's veins. 8. South Carolina. We've arrived in South Carolina, the seventh poorest state in America. We'll grab something off the dollar menu cause that's all we can afford tonight. South Carolina peeps are straight struggling. They have a poverty rate of 16.9%, households bringing in less than $50,000 annually, and 90% of working adults here live paycheck to paycheck. In America, 75% of full-time workers live paycheck to paycheck. That's a real big difference. As we'll see as we continue to move through this list, most of our poorest states are in the South. There are many theories as to why the South is so poor, but many economists agree that going back to Civil War days, the Northern states invested in infrastructure and technology, while the South remained committed to farming. As a result, education fell behind, as did the Southern economy. 9. Nevada. Nevada is an interesting state. It ranks as the ninth poorest in the nation, but has varying levels of wealth across the state, Las Vegas and Reno are all filled with wealthy, successful people, but also have some high levels of income inequality. The rest of the state population is pretty poor and way underemployed relative to the rest of the country. You could drive three hours and see completely different pockets of success in Nevada. The poverty level sits at 12.9%, while unemployment measures 7.12%, the worst in the country. People here work very, very hard. But due to the lack of thriving new technology, and a poor education system, it remains one of the poorer states in the nation. On the brighter side, Nevada is quickly becoming one of the more progressive states in the country. 10. Michigan. You probably didn't expect to see Michigan on this list as it ranks the 10th poorest state in America. And it did, in fact, move up some spots from last year when it didn't place in the top 10. Michiganders earn the 18th lowest incomes in America, $63,202, but they're decently employed, proving that folks in the Wolverine state are hard workers. Plus, the cost of living is so low here, that even decent salaries go a long way. However, it seems cities like Detroit and Flint make national headlines for the wrong reasons nowadays and this ranking puts that into perspective. As the number of people experiencing homelessness increases across the country, more cities and states have passed laws making it illegal to live out of tents and cars or sleep in public spaces. More than 100 jurisdictions have had such bans on the books for years, according to the National Homelessness Law Center. In recent months, high-profile measures have been approved targeting homelessness in many western U.S. cities and across entire states. Federal data shows 582,462 people were experiencing homelessness on a single night in January 2022. Experts warn more people will enter homelessness as housing costs increase, as has been the case for decades in cities such as New York and in much of California. If visible, unsheltered homelessness continues to grow, city leaders will have an easier time passing measures advocates say criminalize basic needs such as sleep and sheltering oneself, Eric Tars legal director for the National Homelessness Law Center, told.